morning, everyone. I hope you have your morning beverage, as I do. This morning it's coffee. It's been a coffee semester. I've been drinking tea in the afternoons, so that's the way that I've been breaking everything down. Um, but I have my coffee, and I'm glad to be kind of sitting down and relaxing because I had a super busy morning um, made dramatic by my four-year-old, who is very, very fussy about what she will wear to school and it is can i tell you excruciating i cannot wait for her to start catholic school and have to wear a uniform right now she's in um pre-k and when she starts at the public school next year for kindergarten they don't wear uniforms in our <laughs> catholic school until first grade um so i got a couple more years of this but um so there was that this morning and very drama and she's had a little cold and so she's just been like extra sassy and um, so I got her all you know soothed and got her to school drove into work I was listening to Monday Morning Catholic on my commute in I'm always listening to a podcast in the car and so I get in and I was hoping to sneak in a spot in the closer parking lot even though I was getting to campus a little bit later than usual due to dropping off Ann because the semester as the semester wears on the parking eases a little bit and so i was hoping for that but um it was not to be this morning my friends it was not to be <laughs> no spots open in the closer lot and the reason i was hoping to get into the closer lot is that i had a really really big box to carry in because i recently hosted a scentsy party <laughs> which is fragrance um, things, so wax and sachets and sprays and things like that. And um, you can also buy the little warmers that you plug in to melt the wax, very fun. And a bunch of my colleagues placed orders, wonderful, wonderful colleagues that they are. And so I have this box and it was delivered yesterday. Um, the, the tracking information told me that the box weighed over 30 pounds. <laughs> a lot of stuff in there and so I took out a few things that you know I had ordered and my mother-in-law had ordered but everything else I had to carry in so the box is really large and kind of unwieldy and rather heavy I had to park it a farther lot and I had to carry it in and so I you know kind of steeled myself and my upper body strength and um, got it as far as I could and I had to take a break and rest it on a planter <laughs> About halfway through, I was like, well, what are you gonna do? I didn't run into anybody, you know, no um, knight in shining armor was rushing to my aid to help me to carry. Um, I didn't run into anybody I knew, so I made it all the way in. Um, but I think I got uh, I got my upper body workout for the day. So I got it up to my office and I'm settling in. And I um, made a to-do list, one of which is I have to box up all of the or bag up those individual Sensi orders. And uh, yeah, so I've just got like lots swirling, swirling around in my head right now. Um, but that was my morning and um, busy, busy. But that's typical for a Wednesday, I suppose. And um, I've been thinking, well, it's on my mind a lot. I've got a uh, dance performance coming up on Saturday, our um, Hofla, and I've been doing lots of sewing because I have a new costume and that's always an issue. So I was working on the skirt last night and um, I was trying to make a tuck because the skirt felt a little too loose and the fabric is so thick that I broke my sewing needle and I haven't yet found it, which is not good. I think we can all agree. Um, I'm hoping that it's just about to be sucked up by the vacuum cleaner when Mike does the vacuuming today, wonderful husband that he is. So I was working on that and I, so it took longer because of the snafus, but I got it done and um, it, it fits good, but uh, tonight is the true test because I'm gonna dance with it and that is, that is so crucial any of you dancers out there you know this um you have to like give it a really long test run before you perform with it so you know practice for 10 or 15 minutes in that in that um new costume um before breaking it out in public um that will serve you well so i'll be doing that tonight but i'm excited i'm excited about that i've got um mike and the kids coming and a friend of mine and her mom coming um so that makes me more nervous because then i know people and i want to you know, do my best. So I'm hoping that it'll go well, but you know, I'm excited about it. So I've got that coming up, but also coming up, like I had alluded to last week, I said I would talk about some other little projects that I'm involved in. Um, well, other people's very large projects that I'm just, you know, kind of playing a very small role in, but I'm super excited about it anyway. So on Tuesday, the 24th, so next week, I'm going to be on Allison Jingris's 
radio show, which I'm super excited about. She's a radio show. Well, the streaming show. Um, she works with Breadbox Media and so her show runs Tuesday, uh, well, all week from 10 to 11. I happen to be on on a Tuesday. And so you can download the app and listen to it live when um, she records. And you can even call in, I think. So I'll post some more about this on Monday, but that would be like exciting um, if you're available at that time and I could like hear your voice. That would be fabulous. But we're going to be talking about writing and blog stuff and um, yeah and other things that you know I write about that I'm sure will um, end up fleshing out. So like how I write about liturgical seasons and family things and um, you know Catholic parenting, things like that. So I'm very excited. So that'll be Tuesday. And then after the show streams live, they do package it as a podcast. So you could always download it after the fact. And I will um, put out the link when that's available. So you could listen to it then if you wanted to. And then I was just looking at the calendar for the other thing um, and it's like a lot sooner than I remembered so I'm really glad that I looked I'm gonna be on the Catholic mom podcast so they're um, I think they're calling it Catholic mom hangout it's fairly new and I'm gonna be on Tuesday December 1st there's a Tuesday theme going on and that records let me look because they do a Google hangout so it's at 2 p.m. on Tuesday December 1st and I don't know if they broadcast the hangout if it's a hangout on air so we'll be finding out um, but at any rate that comes out in the podcast form so you can download and listen uh, we're talking about advent so that's coming up and I'm excited about that and I'm also working on a writing project so this is something else somebody else's book that is an edited compilation and I'm gonna be contributing two sections on adoration and confession it's going to be a very fun title and I can't tell you any more about it because it's not my endeavor um, to reveal but of course as soon as that um, person does so I will be giving you all of the info but the um, the editor and author of many of the pieces is a very fun funny person and so I'm really excited about the book and um, so I'll be looking forward to passing that on when I know more because I think it's going to be an enjoyable read just based upon the people who are working on it and the um, mastermind of this whole thing a really I, somebody that um, that I really respect and um, enjoy <laughs> on social media. So I think it's going to be a great one. So I'm working on that. It's uh, I started, but I still have a ways to go. We got the holidays coming up, which brings me around um, to my wrap up here. Uh, so next week is Thanksgiving. I will be posting on Monday and then I don't know how, what else I'll be posting that week, but we'll see but after that after thanksgiving i'll be back to my usual schedule and i'll let you know the podcast info for the um, allison show and all of that because of the holiday they may not get it up as quick i would think so that may be kind of good timing anyway but you know i'll be with you a little bit next week and then we'll all be enjoying our holiday but that's the lead-in to um what i want to know from you so what are you planning for thanksgiving i love thanksgiving it's i look forward to it every year just um the cooking and the parade even though i know you know the parade it's like better some years than others but I, it's just a it's a fun tradition to have it on in the background right i have that the dog show that comes on after the parade um football a little bit watch a little bit of football but and then of course the family and friends and having drinks together and food and conversation so i look for i love it and so what are you planning for thanksgiving and um are you doing a black friday thing i'm more of a cyber monday girl myself i like online shopping but i enjoy hearing about other people's black friday adventures so what do you have planned for the long weekend write in and tell me all about it and i will be talking with you all again on monday and passing on the details about allison and all of that good stuff so i'm looking forward and write in tell me what you got going on and i'll talk to you again soon bye